Charges have been dismissed against a man accused of using a high-powered scope to look at female students at Pitt. He lost his job at the VA after he was charged, and he's now trying to get it back. Paul Martino was at the hearing, and he's live now with the latest. Paul. Christine, before this hearing even started, the district attorney walked in and said, well, doesn't look like we have the evidence to charge him with uh, invasion of privacy. They withdrew that charge right away. Then the judge heard more of the evidence. And at the end of the hearing, he concluded, hey, you don't have enough evidence to uh, charge him with prowling and loitering. All charges dismissed. Question is, though, what was this guy doing with a high-powered scope looking into a woman's dormitory? Paul May of Enon Valley, Lawrence County, was a nurse at the VA hospital in Oakland. Police say they caught him in this hospital parking garage, peering through a high-powered scope and looking into dormitory windows where female Pitt students live. I am relieved. There are no charges against him. Charges were dismissed. He's guilty of no crime, and he is relieved that this prosecution is now over. Paul May dodged the criminal charges. His attorney questions why they were even brought in the first place. I thought it was fanciful, I thought it was far-fetched, and I thought it was ill-advised, and I think today's hearing verified my sentiments. Ill-advised or not, there's still one lingering question that hasn't been answered. Can you tell us why he was in a parking garage with a scope? Paul, first off, I'm not going to get into facts because Paul May has been fired from his job and there is a pending grievance, an administrative grievance that has to be worked out. You have to admit that looks bad. Well, regardless of whether it looks bad, he has a legitimate right to be in, in a parking garage where he parks all the time. Paul May was a nurse at the VA. He was fired from his job, but he's hoping this dismissal of charges today will help him get his job back. Reporting live, Paul Martino, KDKA-TV News.